where are we off to? We're going to go to Tinto's and um, I know you love coffee so they serve the best coffee in Fulham so you're going to love it. When we when we first did um, uh, Holy Port Road, you know, so six seven years ago, we used to come here for you know what we're doing now, coffee and hot chocolate or breakfast or whatever it may be. And um, me and my ex business partner walked in, and uh, when we left, he said, "Oh." Um, did you recognise that guy in there? I said, no. And uh, he said, it's uh, David Gandhi. I said, who the fuck's David Gandhi? So obviously I went on Google. Oh, sorry, David Gandhi was uh, the D&G model. And um, so ne on the next day, I uh, friend requested Gandhi on Facebook. And I said, David, next time you're in Tinto's, Let's have a coffee. So um, he said, yeah, no problem, mate. And off the back of that meeting, uh, we became quite good friends and we ended up doing his property in Fulham. So basically, he found a property. He used to live literally up here on a flat. And that's where he's come here all the time. So he found a property in Fulham. We got planning to do a basement, side return, full refurb. And, uh, and that was it. And off the back of that, you know, we, we got lots of press in, I think it was like uh, the, the Sunday Times, uh, just loads of magazines. I think we got a, a GQ, Vogue, loads of articles off the back, the back of Gandhi's uh, property. And then at the same time, when we were doing the Gandhi's, uh, we landed uh, Kylie Minogue as well. So the story with Kylie, <laughs> we had a phone call and it was from a Australian girl and she said, oh, can you come to a, uh, a commercial property in Fulham because my boss wants it painted and decorated. So we went round there and um, we were guessing who who was it yeah what 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 who, what type of client is it going to be so the weeks went by and you know we were just guessing and then after the unit was painted and decorated and finished we turned up and in the middle of the commercial unit was a aluminium you know big flight case with Kylie Minogue world tour in it so obviously me and my ex-business partner, we went high five. Yes, Kylie. So obviously me and boys, we've opened up a flight case and it's got all her sort of clothes in there, all her bras and you know, obviously we've done some selfies of her with Kylie's bras on our head. Free! And uh, so off the back of that, uh, Kylie's, uh, we had a phone call again from uh, her PA and said, um, she said, uh, my boss would like to see you because she wants some work done at her house. So uh, about a week later, we had a meeting uh, around Kylie's house in Chelsea. And uh, when we walked in, obviously we were a little bit sort of nervous, gonna meet Kylie. So we walked into her lounge and she was sitting on the sofa and she said to us, I've heard all about you, naughty boys. And uh, because obviously we've been sort of cheeky and flirting with her PA and the PA's reported that back to Kylie. Kylie's laughing our heads off these two cheeky chappies uh, uh, walked into her life and uh, she loved us. So off the back of that meeting, we ended up refurbing Kylie's house in Chelsea. 
So we had high Minogue decline at the same time, and also um, Gandhi at the same time. So we went to many events um, with Gandhi and Kylie, to, with DNG. Uh, and you know, I've got lovely pictures of Kylie on one arm and Gandhi on the other side. So we had some really, really good times. And I, I, we went to Milan with Gandhi, watching AC Milan, Inter Milan. So yeah, we never know who is gonna phone up. And I, I think off the back of Kylie, we did um, Natalie and Brulio. We did a her flat in Notting Hill. That was only a little small refurb. Yeah, and lots more. So, and that all started from the introduction here at Tinto's to Gandhi. It's funny how things go, isn't it? The uh, buds coming up on the trees, look. I watched uh, the Alex Ferguson story on Netflix last night. And, and, and it's, uh, it was about what he brings to managing a football club is what is needed to run a global business. Because obviously he was the manager of Manchester United, but he was also very well clued up on running a business of Manchester United, so generating more money. And um, he used to be asked to go into corporate companies and give them advice on running their business and he also was asked i think the, the Ryder cup in 2013 or something he was asked by the uh the uh captain to come and help motivate uh rory mcavoy and all, all the all the caddies and create a team spirit, a winning team spirit, and um, you know he's very, very strict. And all, all the players loved him. There was interviews with, God, well, all of them, uh, Ronaldo, Giggs, saying how how strict he was. But what a manager, what a human being, because he actually cared about every single one. He knew everyone's name the cleaners in Manchester United the, the ladies who used to iron the football kits the um, the janitors he would know 150 people's names and say hello to every single one of them so he made everyone feel special from the bottom to the top that is awesome isn't it look at that little squirrel there look hello posh squirrel hello <laughs> How old is this one? She's 11 weeks. Hello, darling. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Have a lovely warm. That dog was so small. You know, I love animals and I love dogs, but I don't fancy a tiny little dog. I'd be so worried to step on it and hurt it. You know, my binky, she's like a teddy bear.